Hi Pisces and welcome to your monthly tarot reading for October. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing well. And this is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Pisces. And we can get a sense of the energies and messages for you in October so that you can plan accordingly. So I've already shuffled quite a bit. I'm just going to give it a few more shuffles and we will get started. Okay, so we have the Three of Swords in reverse. We have the Fool, Major Arcana, and we have the Knight of Cups. So in looking at the Three of Swords in reverse, uh, this is quite an illustration, and particularly of the heart, where it's somewhat realistic. And, you know, the Three of Swords is a card of... of in its upright position of loss, sadness, a relationship has ended, you've lost something that is valuable to you, um, your heart hurts, your head hurts perhaps, uh, you just feel sad, you might even feel broken, you might feel depressed. In reverse, the Three of Swords suggests that that um, feeling of complete loss or devastation or being very upset is starting to lift and you may be beginning to see things that possibly that there's a future ahead and if you look at the illustration you can envision the swords may be coming out easier to pull out it hurts when you go back in there and have to pull out those sores because your heart is tender and you know it's been in pain and so with the three of swords in reverse you know it's a sense of yes i'm going to accept the pain and i've got to learn to find a way to deal with it and to put it in its place and to not let it keep me in a place where I can't move forward or I can't move again because it's part of our life experience that we will be hurt in life. It could be something as innocuous as someone gossiping behind your back, hurting your feelings, saying something mean-spirited that could really cause you pain. It could be a betrayal. Uh, but in reverse, it's a sense of the intensity of that pain is starting to, to lessen. And you're beginning to see there's a way to cope with this. And I just have to maybe let more time pass by to heal. Um, but I have to have a talk with myself, which is basically I just can't get stuck in this place because I'll never be able to to move forward to experience the emotional side of life, which is depth and tears, happiness, it's the whole spectrum of emotions. And sometimes, yes, we have these three of, car three of swords moments. Now what's interesting is we then have this fool card. We see the fool here ready to step off the cliff What's oh, missing from this illustration is the dog kind of wear, you know, warning him. But this goes to a sense of taking a risk, taking a leap of faith. And in order to do so, you're going to have to let the hurt go to off to the side. You're going to have to put it behind you so that you can put yourself in a position for a new beginning, a new cycle, a new experience, something that can bring back a carefree nature, something that can make you feel joyful again, that you can experience uh, love and happiness and uh, anticipation of, of good things. With the fool, there's a sense of letting go of like the ego. It's like you're just starting off on a journey. You maybe don't have a lot of expectations, but you're just taking that leap. Some may say to you, that's foolish. Why are you doing that? Why are you taking a risk? 
young, dating that younger man, you know, or you're, whatever you may be doing, but there's a sense of, of, yes, there's a risk involved, and I can either accept that risk, I know the consequences, or, you know, the other flip side of the fool is that you really are not thinking straight and you're making a foolish decision. But I, I think with, in terms of what we see with the reverse Three of Swords, is that we see uh, that after a sense of healing and getting yourself back up to a better place, that you'll be ready to take a leap of faith, take a risk, start something new, reach out to someone, start a new project that you also may feel passionate about and enthusiastic about and that you may love. And for the people who are trying to talk you out of things, you know, listen to their counsel, but ultimately you have to follow your heart and you have to follow your own inner guide to, to move forward and to, and to experience, you know, taking a risk starting a new cycle, a new journey. And the new journey can include some positive emotional um, experiences for you. We have the Knight of Cups. We see the Knight riding the fish. And he's got his hand up. He's got the cup up. It's just very exciting to look at. And the Knight of Cups is someone who is a generous of spirit, compassionate, has a loving heart, is kind, gentle, and romantic. And so getting maybe swept away on the, by the fish here, the night on the fish, is probably not such a bad idea. And, uh, you know, allow yourself to have experiences or potential relationships or meet new people that can bring enrichment into your life enrichment of of emotional connection and of connecting with someone else it certainly doesn't have to be romantic this could be a deep friendship business relationship but there is certainly the very gentle and empathetic and loving sense with the knight of cups you know poetic um, uh, just at the very heart, very giving, romantic, brings you flowers and such, and writes poems for you. So it seems like for those that have had hurt and are trying to get over it, you just have to keep your heart open, you have to keep your eyes open, and you have to let whatever the universe is going to bring to you to let it come forward. And take a chance. What's the worst that's going to happen? You're going to get, you might get hurt again. Oh, well, you've been through it. You know what it is. You know what it feels like. You know that ultimately the days get better. And so, you know, taking the leap of faith might bring something really significant to your life. So I think it's a, I, I think it's a very positive reading for Wednesday. Let's take a look at the numbers. We have three, zero, and one is four, and four is about stability, foundation, a firm foundation, uh, family, and stability. I don't know if I said that. Stability and security. So I hope that you have a great Wednesday. If you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, or comment. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I greatly appreciate it, and I hope you'll come back again tomorrow for another daily reading. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.